Man, the writers are really slipping up. Welcome to the final wager. I'm Keith Williams, and I'm a little flummoxed that Timpanum was not on Alex's card. That's the appropriate name for the eardrum. And why they're putting the patriarch of Christianity, which I'm surprised no one knew, at the $2,000 clue, it doesn't make sense. Maybe he was there to screw with everyone's heads, because that's basic biblical knowledge. And for that amount, maybe, hey, maybe there's another patriarch, and why would I pick this random name? Not cool, guys. Scott uh, went a little weak on that Daily Double. I thought $800 clue, fairly close game. I probably just gone for everything on the couch, yes. I know, I know, it's easier there. But here we have a double lock situation. Scott can't be caught by Rebecca, and Mike can't catch her, so she's going to finish in second, assuming they wager properly. Mike went 1989, Rebecca in 1980, I guess so their birth years. And uh, Scott could only wager for 700, so he couldn't complete the trifecta, but all three got it right. And uh, Scott now has three wins. <laughs> One more, and he'll be in TOC range. And he kind of is already. He's in, uh, I guess ninth right now. Not sure, I'll have to check. 538 came out with an article today about Ken Jennings' streak and why it'll probably never be broken. I get linked to in that. When that guy starts taking over Jeopardy statistical analyses, just remember that I started. Yeah, it was a huge craze back in the mid-2010s. Historians will say years from now. Okay. Scott goes for number four tomorrow, and his mustache comes along for the ride. We'll see you then on the final wager.